Today on the channel, we go to one of the deep, dark corners of the DC multiverse with McFarlane Toys, Shining Knight. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys unboxing and review and today we got a character I've never even heard of in the Shining Knight but for all your Shining Knight needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up DJC collectibles use discount code Adolf DJC to save 8% off your entire order gotta get a deal and of course I found this at Walmart that's where she is currently landing uh, an interesting one as it is a platinum so it's gonna be a little bit rarer supposedly if Todd McFarlane was on the couch which he is not no couch, it's an empty couch over there today. I would say, who is this? What are we doing? Are these Platinums really that rare anymore? Because we've seen a lot of Walmarts, everything seems to be a Platinum, and it really takes away the specialness of a Platinum. We'll see how it goes in the grand scheme of things, but this is hitting Walmarts right now. Should be available from all of the retailers uh, sooner rather than later, I'll say there. And I'll also say we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And as I said at the top, the Shining Knight, I have no idea. I look at this figure, and it looks like one of those Wonder Woman figures. You know, a Regal or Wonder Woman or something. That's what it reminds me of. We'll see, though. We'll read that card, and that's the beauty of these cards. You find out about some of these characters. And this DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys line, I've said it in the past. I'm going to say it again now. Reminds me a lot of the Toy Biz X-Men uh, Marvel Universe toys from back in the early 90s when I was collecting those and playing with those as well. There was so many characters. That's where I learned from them first from the toys which made me look into their cards and comic books, so on and so forth. Same thing with the DC Multiverse. I'm not as deep into the DC Multiverse as I am in the Marvel, so it's a way to find out about characters, learn about characters, and grow in your brain. There you go. So Shining Knight going to be one of those ones going to add to the mental Rolodex in the future. But there she is, shining just like a knight would shine in a box right here. And, of course, 22 points articulation, 12 and up on this one here. Platinum edition, of course, you see the sticker down low, DC Multiverse, Shining Knight. From the Seven Soldiers of Victory. Sounds like something out of a Sabaton song. Shout out to Sabaton. Just saw them the other day in concert in Omaha, Nebraska. Shout out to Omaha, Nebraska. They treated me right over there. One of the finest Hampton Inns I've been to in the last week or so. On the side over here, DC Multiverse. And on the back, we got a Shining Knight. The shiningest knight on the back of the package. And we're going to find out what all the fuss is about. Is there fuss? I don't think there's fuss about her because I've never heard of her before. So it uh, could just be, see you later, goodbye. Maybe me just not knowing things or never hearing about her. I don't know. We'll see what happens. See you later. Goodbye off the screen. Watch me read the back of this card. and It says, she's been married to Superman for 20 years. See you later. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye. It'll be something real wild. Like, how do you not know who this is? Somebody is watching this video saying, who is this idiot? He doesn't know who the Shining Knight is and the Seven Soldiers of Victory. How does he even sleep at night? And I don't. I don't go to sleep. You guys see this channel. I work, you know, 60, 70 hours a week at my day job. I do 50 hours on this. I, there's no time for sleep. Uh, like a young motorhead. A uh, real name, Justine Justin Justina. <laughs> okay, I see where this is going. Oh, I, I know exactly where this is going. The gender fluid immortal knight Justin has also been known as Justin Sir Justin. Oh, Sir Justin. I would have kept that name. And the Shining Knight and was present at Merlin's rebirth in Avalon as Adam won. Oh, Merlin, one of the finest magicians of all time. If you've never seen his magician surgery, whatever word that is, check it out if you've missed it. But uh, magician, one of the finest magicians is Merlin. Uh, okay, as one of the Demon Knight's ancestors of Stormwatch, Justina battled alien and demonic threats. Justina was granted immortality after a sip from the Holy Grail during the fall of Camelot, but was cursed with an unquestionable desire to drink from the Grail again, and that's what happens. You get a shot, you get some of that, that first sip of Jägermeister back in the day, you want some more, and it just snowballs into trouble. Uh, okay, blah, blah, blah. 
Fall of Camelot was cursed. If I can find my place, there's War and Peace back here. Yeastin rode the Winged Horse Vanguard, fighting alongside such demon knights as Madame Xanadu and Jason Blood. He also wielded the sword known as Caliburn or Excalibur. I've heard of Excalibur. Uh, Nightcrawler should have been the leader, but Great Britain did a pretty good job, if you ask me. Or the, or the sword, either or. Uh, marking him a champion of Camelot, Yastina fought with the Demon Knights against the Vampire Kane and was bitten, fulfilling his vision of one day becoming undead. So, I don't know anything about this character still. Apparently, it's gender fluid. I had the feeling there when I read Justin and John and Yastina. A very confusing saga is what that one is right there. Uh, so, reading the back bio card, no crossovers with anything I know. So, I don't feel so bad uh, about not knowing this character here. But I do know a DC McFarlane stand when I see one. I've seen it before, we'll see it again, of course. Plastic Prison, is it a guy, is it a dude? She's a man, he's a woman, like the Scorpions sang about in the 70s. I think that's what we got going on right here. I don't know Don't know what we're doing. Don't know what we're doing with this one. But we're going to dive in. We're going to see what out what this uh, Shiningest Knight is up to here. I don't know. I don't know, it looks like a, a chick for me in here. I know gender fluid, but uh, it feels more like a female figure than a male figure to me. And then somebody's going to put in the comments, well, what does a female figure f look like? And then we'll just go down the whole rabbit hole right there and say, okay, all right, you win. You win, whatever, whatever. See you later. Goodbye. All right, let's get down to business here as I mess up my table. Get all these twist ties. Saving all these twist ties. Going to jump into them in a pool. Hopefully Todd McFarlane will be back for that video. We'll see what happens there. Uh, not a lot of accessories to this one. We're seeing that in this latest kind of wave of McFarlane toy stuff. Not a lot of bells and whistles. We do get a nice shiny sword. That makes sense for a shiniest knight. Got the little handle there in brown. Silver blade, of course. Little red eye in the middle there. Some gold. A little gold on the bottom as well. Uh, it's all about the sword and the sandals, I guess, at the end of the day. Like Ian Coney and the Barbarian. But now the shiniest knight is coming out to play here. Boy, sure does look female to me, but I've, I guess I've been confused. I'm just confused right here. We got the horns on the top, very soft, gummy horns on the top. They don't want a kid, you know, carving their face up or something, I guess, but very, very soft spikes on the top there. Soft spikes over the top. Nice helmet. Helmet not removable, of course. Shoulder guards here holding down the cape. This is a cape, though, Lando Calrissian would like. He'd say, that's nice. No tears, no rips. Nice red color, gold trim on the bottom. Gets the old Lando seal of approval is what that gets right there. But looking good. Uh, interesting, it's a plastic cape. It feels like it's been forever since we've had a plastic cape from McFarland Toys. We're usually getting the soft goods cape these days, which I'm not complaining about, of course. Uh, you got the gold armor throughout, a little chain mail action in the thighs and the legs and the arms. Uh, a little elbow pad action, forearm guards. Got a maniacal hand over here and got a sword holding hand over here. How about on that? Little skirt off to the side, a little belt buckle. Uh, got some interesting shin guards here. And at first I thought these were Terry Steinbach, but they truly look to be Gary Carter issued from the New York Mets back in the day. Shout out to Gary Carter. Carter, one of the all-time greats, of course. Uh, not my favorite catcher of all time, of course, Terry Steinbach, with Darren Dutch Dalton, a close second. Oh, Resta, Darren Dalton, soul, one of my all-time favorite uh, players and all-time favorite catchers of all time. Uh, but it does look like Gary Carter issued here is what it does look like to me. But somebody can fact check that if you want to. Nice shiny gold color on the shiniest night, of course. Looks all right. Big high heel boots going on. You do get the toe articulation on her, him, him, her, they, them. I'm not sure. <laughs> Boot cut going on there. Uh, knee, of course, a little bit of side to side. Not a whole lot to write home about. Single jointed knee on this one here. Big old shining night splits. Haven't seen shining night splits like that ever. Ever. Never seen it. Leg does go up. I already did the knees. I'm going in reverse. Now I'm confusing myself. This is a confusing figure is what it is. Arms do go around. Shoulder pads do move out of the way. You got a bicep cut. Double jointed pinned elbows. The pin's still in. Uh, hopefully it is. I don't know. I don't know what's going on down there either. But uh, you do get the hands back and forth, side to side. Head back and forth, side to side. A little bit of waist, no hula hoop in here. So a confusing figure in many ways. I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know what I'm dealing with. I don't know what's going on. It's playing tricks with my brain. I don't know what's going on here. I just don't know what's going on. But it does, it does, it, it she does, he does, I do, we all do. Uh, McFarland stand fits on the McFarland stand right here. Very fluidly, that's what we're going to say. Fits on there, very, very fluid. Uh, it does want to bounce back a little, but there we go. The old shining knight. Ready to go. The shiningest of knights, as we have seen. Got a big sword, or maybe it doesn't have a big sword. I don't know what's going on with this, but it is a shining knight. We're ready to go. DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys. 
be really interested in your comments. Save me with this one here. Help me out. Let me know your experiences with the Shining Knights. you have any experiences? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. And of course, even more content, including early access to both YouTube channels over on the Patreon channel. Patreon, best way to support this YouTube channel and all the content it does bring. ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for a shining night, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.